truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. Yes, that's right. Please make yourself comfortable. Sure. Thank you. Can you state your name and please help me spell it? Sure. My name is Bharat Amarnath Madhamanchi. I can spell it for you. Please. Um, B as in Ball, H as in Harry, A as in Alpha, R as in Romeo, A as in Alpha, T as in Tom, H as in Harry, A as in Alpha, M as in Mary, A as in Alpha, R as in Romeo, N as in Nancy, A as in Alpha, T as in Tom, H as in Harry. My last name is Madhamanchi. M as in Mary, A as in Alpha, B as in David, A as in Alpha, M as in Mary, A as in Alpha, N as in Nancy, C as in Charles, H as in Harry, I as in India. Thank you very much. Sure, no problem. Yes. Good afternoon, Mr. Madamachi. Thank you for being here. Sure, no problem. Uh, would you like to, ladies and gentlemen, the jury know what it is that you did for a living? Um, I work as a software engineer. Um, for um, City Info Solutions, that's my employer, and the client is uh, USAA, United Services Automobile Association. Okay. So it's predominantly an insurance-based company, but it has like in, in a lot of other business as well. Okay. And I'm going to ask you to do something for me. You have a little bit of an accent. Mm -hmm. If you could speak slowly, mm -hmm. um, so that that's, that's my problem. I, I need to understand you. So, sure. Um, I would greatly appreciate if you would do that courtesy. <laughs> I want. Oh, okay. And this time it's not me. I need you to pull the microphone a little bit more towards you because you're soft spoken, okay? Okay. Good deal. All right. This should be pretty quick. You ever testified before? Yes. You testified in the court before? No. Oh, okay. So this is your first time? Yes. You enjoying it? <coughs> kind of. Okay. <laughs> uh, I want to go back to September the 6th of 2018. Back in September of 2018, did you live at the Southside Flats? I did. Okay. Uh, were you there with your family? Yes, my wife and myself. Your, your wife and your what? My wife and myself. Oh, okay. All right. And did you live in apartment number 1474? Yes. Okay. Judge, can I approach the witness? Yes. Okay. Mr. Matamachi, this is... Uh, oh, bless This is the back hallway of the apartment complex. Sorry, guys. Uh, along Powhatan Street, okay? Mm -hmm. And it would this indicate 1474, is this going to be the location of your apartment? Good. Can I put a sticker there to indicate that? Yes. All right. So, how long did you live in apartment 1474? If I remember correctly, I moved in on um, April 30th, I guess. Um, and I moved out um, in October, second week. Um, by 22nd of October, I was completely out of the department. Say that last part again. Uh, I moved in in uh, like April 30th of 2018, okay. and I moved out completely by October 22nd of 2018. 2018, okay. So in September, you had been there uh, April, May, June, July, August, five, six months? Yeah. Okay. Um, were you home on the evening of September the 6th, 2018? Yes. Do you recall hearing uh, what you later learned to be gunshots on that particular evening? Yes. What were you doing when you heard those gunshots? Uh, I was having a Skype video call with my father. He lives in India. Okay. And were the gunshots fast one after another? Yeah, probably within seconds. Okay. And do you remember there before that, do you remember anything immediately before? I'm not talking about minutes before, but before you heard the gunshots, did you hear any loud uh, voices, like verbal commands? No. Uh, did you hear anything like, get on the ground, Let, show me your hands? You have to say it out loud, yes or no? No. Okay. Um, did you, are you familiar, have you ever seen like police when they're dealing with an individual they want to get control over? Where they give loud verbal commands to somebody ordering them to do something? Um, probably from the movies, but not the uh, real thing. Fair enough. Did you hear that before the shots were fired? Uh, no, I haven't heard anything. Several minutes before, I think, when you were talking to the Rangers, did you say that you just... Uh, tell me what it is that you heard. I think you, you told... Um, yeah, a few minutes before, I guess. I, I'm not specific on timing, but there is slight disturbance. Um, speak slowly. 
few minutes before there is slight disturbance that caught the attention but yeah but i haven't come out or did anything like that um usually it's pretty calm apartments yeah. so heard some some sort of slight noise or disturbance okay is there any reason to think that, that had anything to do with the gunshots no okay and did you do you remember indicating um that that was several minutes before you heard the gunshots yes okay. um i want to talk to you about the doors you know I've, we've had several witnesses that live there and i've just neglected to ask them so the, the way that the doors are set up at the south side flats do you have like a handle at the bottom i'm trying to remember i don't think so okay do you not remember how the doors are set up um they're programmed so you put in a key and you turn it um if it is not your key it will it will blink red and if it is your key you can see it blinks green um and then um when you turn in um i'm not sure on the handle like how exactly the handle is and all but you 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 open the door and you go in and if you leave the door it will just um, um shut with a with a bit of a sound because of the weight okay. so if you want to hold it or um have it um, open without getting closed you need to put something or hold it otherwise it will just close out with a bang okay so the, the door is either way or it has a mechanism where it will it will at least attempt to close on its own yes okay here's i guess now that this is very well but it, here's the question if if you don't if you walk into your apartment and if you don't turn the deadbolt is the door open can a person just walk in yeah they need to still uh, like um what sort of handle like and I, i cannot remember but they still need to turn the handle like to to open the door or to to push the door right. it's not like it, it's automatically open or anything like that no and i get that i understand that the point that i'm still off trying to make is that off if if you have not engaged the deadbolt in other words the door doesn't lock itself right no you have to lock it from the inside if you want it to be locked correct okay. that's that's what i want to okay that makes sense <laughs> i was trying to still remember on what deadbolt is but yeah That's correct. Uh, anyway, thank you so much. No problem. Thank you for the time. Sure, no problem. Lady, they may have some questions. Okay. Mr. Mamachi? Sure. How are you? Is that right? Mhm. Uh, how about you? Yep. Okay, very good. My name is Zach Ford. I'm just going to ask you a couple of questions. Sure. Okay, very good. Um, you testified that you were at home with your wife, correct? Mhm. Can you tell me again what her name was? Um, Mary. That's her first name. Mary Manjira Bellamkonda. That's a complete name. Sure. Uh, M. I'm as Mary A as in Alpha, R as in Romeo, V as in Yak. That's her first name. Um, Manjira M as in Mary, A as in Alpha, N as in Nancy, J as in Jack, E as in Elephant, T as in Elephant, R as in Romeo, A as in Alpha. Her last name is B as in ball, E as in elephant, L as in lamb, L as in lamp, A as in alpha, M as in Mary, K as in king, O as in owl, and as in Nancy, D as in David, A as in alpha. You testified a few moments ago that uh, at the time of the incident you were on a Skype call, correct? Yes. Um, you were Skyping with a family member? Uh, my father, yes. Okay. Uh, your father out of country? Um, he lives in India. He and my mother they live in India. Okay. So your attention prior to this incident, is it fair to say, was on talking to your father, who's halfway across the world, correct? Sir, can you answer yes or no? Sure. Thank you. Yes. And you were at home with your wife, correct? Correct. And when you first heard the noises, is it fair to say that you weren't exactly sure whether or not what you were hearing were gunshots? Yes, uh, the first instant I'm not sure. I doubted that. My wife thinks uh, they're not gunshots. But I doubted when when she said that. So you're only you're only two doors away. And Mr. Herman showed you uh, the diagram of the apartment complex, correct? Yes. And you're you're just two doors away, correct? Yes. And for only two doors away, you weren't sure whether or not the sounds you were hearing were gunshots. Correct? I thought they're gunshots. Okay. But but my wife is not sure. So I was telling Yeah, she asked what did what do you think of them? I thought like 
the mind began shut but i'm hearing them for the first time in my life so uh, that's when i realized probably they're kind of shots in the time that you lived at the south side flats mm-hmm. did you or your wife ever park on the wrong floor i didn't park on the wrong floor um but my wife did park on the wrong floor once that's what she said in the time you were living there um explain to the jury was there any confusion did you ever have any confusion whether or not you were on the third floor of the parking garage or the fourth floor of the parking garage i haven't i usually check on the elevators they will have uh, the numbers on which floor it is did you understand uh how your wife would park on the wrong floor there's no objection speculation in here sir Do you have any knowledge whether or not your wife ever went to the wrong apartment? Does anyone object to speculation in your side? Yes, we have. Do you have any knowledge? So, what's the question again? Do you have any knowledge as to whether or not your wife ever parked on the wrong floor of the apartment? Yeah, see, she parked once on the wrong, on the wrong floor or like third floor. That's what she mentioned once. Do you have any knowledge as to whether or not your wife ever uh approached the wrong apartment um i'm not sure on that is your wife a reasonable person does she have objections to relevance the rest of the women think there's something under the sustain is objection is there any evidence that your wife ever approached the wrong apartment Thank you very much. Thank you.